Hi everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a subscriber. If you're not, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and like this video because we are starting a new project. This is the Graveyard Project Pan by Emily and Max on Instagram and I will have everything down below. This is going to be every other month until October 31st and it's five to 10 products, but there's a theme on how you pick your products. So it's resurrection, which are products that have been in previous projects or collecting cobwebs, which are products close to expir expiration or neglected. All of mine are collecting cobwebs because if they're not in a project, I'm not using them. And this is my first year officially panning. Last year, I kind of just was trying to do using up products without like doing projects. So that's why everything is in the same category. So the first thing I thought of for Halloween, you think of the color black and the color red. So I picked a red eyeshadow. This is Makeup Geek in the shade Untouchable. And to keep with the Halloween theme, I have to use this 31 times. The other thing that I automatically thought of when I thought of this project is my Halloween eyeshadow palette. This is the Wet n Wild in Coffin Break. This is a limited edition from 2019, I believe. And look, I haven't even opened it yet. So if I don't break the seal for this project, I have to declutter it because I need to learn to use the makeup I have. So I'm not swatching this because I can't get myself to open it yet. Maybe I'll record when I do and put it on Instagram if you guys follow me on there. It's the same name as on here. Um, because I can't get myself to open it yet. But here are the shades. Just, there you go, without the glare. And 31 times for each individual shade. And then those are the Halloween things. The rest are just more cobwebs, which one is my SPF. This is brand new. I've used it maybe twice. And it's the Centella Green Levels Unscented SPF 50. It's on my vanity in my bathroom, and I just don't use it. I think part of the reason is because I never leave the house, but that's not a reason to not use SPF because you still get SPF through the windows and whatnot. So I gotta use it, I gotta use it up. So if I can just a couple times a week use it, whether I'm wearing makeup or not, to get back in the routine because last year I was very consistent and this year I totally am not. So I gotta get back on my SPF game. The next thing I'm going to be adding is an Anastasia, doesn't say what type, but it's a mini mascara. The mini I am currently using should be dried out and done soon because it's already starting to dry out and I'm trying to like see how long I can use it because I do like it. It just seemed to have dried out really fast. But when that one's done, I will be putting this one in. And then the next one I'm excited because I've never used this before and I've heard really good things about it. I got it in my uh, Sephora birthday gift. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, brand new. I'm going, I have two lip balms at my desk when I'm working and I'm going to put this one at my bedside because I do struggle with my bottom lip being dry and I tend to like pick at it. So I'm hoping this will moisturize it enough so that I'm not doing that. Um, and that's it. Five products and I said kind of because this is a product but there's ten eyeshadows so it's more than five. Oh no! I have the swatch on my finger. These are pressed pigments. Look what it did to my... Can you, can the camera pick it up? It's red. It's red right there. Oh, I'll have to make sure that comes off because that looks, that looks like it's blood almost. I'll keep with the Halloween theme, I guess. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. I'm super excited. A new project and this time I'm giving myself usage goals for the eyeshadows because I know I have tons of eyeshadows in my Fifty Shades of Purple. But instead of finishing it up, I need to learn to do usage goals and I thought 31 would be the perfect number for Halloween. And that's it. So I'm going to wrap this up. I will see you in this update in two months. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and you can also follow me on Instagram. It's the same name as on here, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!